This is my, he, he called it my firstborn. Uh, it's my number one son, Mr. Philip Melbury. Get the right around. Yeah. Back here behind me is my, my adopted son. Even though he's 10 years older than I am, he plays a good bass and sings a good song. I'm mighty proud of him. Thank you make him welcome, Mr. T Ray Tucker. And the man with the telephone here. Did you call him? I didn't. Ah, call nobody him. I know. No one of my girlfriends. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> He's a graduate of Tennessee Tech. He's a master fiddle player, a master mandolin player, and just all around good guy, good singer, good tennis singer. He can tell some good jokes sometimes when he gets in the mood, but he ain't been in the mood for 40 years or so. Uh, but I'm mighty proud of my uh, second-born son, Mr. Jimmy Bilbrey. Yeah. Yeah. 
got fiddle out. The man standing with a banjo, heavy metal, is a. Uh, uh, yeah, he's a mine and Nissen's father. We don't know about that yet. But uh, we grew up in a musical household and we're thankful for that. And we enjoy traveling all over the country, Kent County. County. Country sounds great, look on. Uh, playing and singing together. So y'all put your hands together for a wonderful man and musician, Cooper's living legend, Ron Gilbert. Hey, I want to read y'all this. This is funny. It says, Father and son went hunting together for the first time. The father says, Stay here and be very quiet. I'll be across the field. A few minutes later, the father heard a blood-curdling scream and ran back to his son. What's wrong? The father asked. I told you to be quiet. The boy, bless his heart, answered. Look, I was quiet when the snake slithered across my feet. I was quiet when the bear breathed down my neck. I didn't move a muscle when the skunk climbed over my shoulder. I closed my eyes and held my breath when the wasp stung me. I didn't cough when I swallowed the gnat. I didn't cuss or scratch when the poison oak started itching. But when the two squirrels crawled up my pant legs and said, should we eat them here or take them with us? Well, I guess I just panicked. of you. 